Hi, I'm Miriam, otherwise known as DWG, delicious with egg gluten. I'm here to show you today how to make some hamantaschen. I have two kinds of hamantaschen dough. I have orange dough and I have chocolate dough. And what we're going to do today is uh, show you how to cut them and fill them and uh, we'll get started. Uh, Gluten-free dough sometimes gets a little bit dry because the flowers are a little bit dry. Uh, so if it is having any cracking problems, just wet your hands so that there, it's nice and moist. And instead of flour, I'll be using icing sugar to roll out the dough. Just make sure that it doesn't stick to the surface. So you want to keep moving it back and forth on the icing sugar and rolling it out slowly and lifting it up. If there gets too much icing, icing sugar, what will happen, it's gonna be very difficult to fold. So I'm just keep turning it around. There we go. It's about a quarter inch thick and I'm gonna use anything with a round shape is fine. Usually a cup works nicely. I'm using the top of a lid and you make circles in the dough as closely as possible to get as many as you can and then what we'll do is we'll pull away the excess dough and save it for the next one. So now we have a round circle. So we're ready to fill it. You can fill it in any type of filling. Um, I like to use a fruit filling. And what I would do is uh, put some apricots and some prunes, put a little bit of water uh, to soak it for a little while, and then um, mix it with cranberries or anything else that you, that you like to give it some flavor. Uh, I like to put some orange zest inside to give it a little bit of orange flavor. So I'm gonna spoon a little bit of the filling inside. If you overfill, it will open up. The little hamantaschen will open up in the oven. And if you underfill, it'll taste mostly like a doughy cookie. So uh, try to fill it up just right. I hold it with my hands like this in a point and I use my, my, my thumbs to push up the hamantaschen dough like that. And there's no uh, flour or anything in the inside, so it should stick pretty nicely. And we pinch the sides together. And that's a hamantaschen. I'll do one more, flatten it out, fill it up. and we'll fold it up. Some people like to use an egg wash on top to give a nice finish. I like it uh, a little bit like, it turns out to be uh, like a little bit like um, a, sh a shortbread cookie when you don't do that, so I like to keep it like that. You put it on a tray, on a baking tray for a th at 350 degrees for about seven to ten minutes. Uh, I'm making very small ones. As soon as they're a little bit lightly browned, they're ready. 